Hello there and welcome to the new Python data analytics project. If you have uh, seen my previous videos, I have posted a lot of projects related to the Python, Tableau, even in ClickSense for data visualization, exploration and predictive analytics. Well, if you have not, I suggest that you go and check those videos. Well, in this data analytics project, it is more of an exercise for you so that you can learn from data exploration to the prediction with the help of the cars data which i am going to show you here so here is a series of questions which you will see that a uh, step by step usually a data scientist will ask from the question and then finally create a first model with the help of the appropriate algorithm so let's go ahead and see this and before I move ahead, let me show you the data so that all the questions will going to make sense to you. All right. So here is the data that uh, you need or you can find in the description link that you can freely download and go ahead along with that. Um, if let's say when you are following my questions, which I will show you and you are not able to figure out a solution for most of the question by your own research and study, then you have the solution link file in the description as well. All right. So let's go ahead and see. So MPG is nothing but the miles per gallon. So it's, it's a car data set if you observe. So the car name is here, Chevrolet, uh, and then you have AMC, you have Ford, um, you have Toyota, you have Datsun. So a lot of cars information is given. The name of the car is given, their origin, like a uh, USA, Japan, Europe, uh, information like this. Um, then miles per gallon, uh, it's basically the average that it gives, the number of cylinders that the car has, the displacement that the car has, horsepower that the car has, weight of the car, the acceleration value and the model year, right? So all, with all of this uh, data set, the entire data set that we have and uh, it's a relatively small, so you have overall uh, this is 399 so that means 398 rows that it will be having as you can see 398 because the first row is the label all right so the first row is label and you have 398 rows so what you basically be able to do is with the help of the small data set you will be able to uh, you know start with the data exploration or data science case study like this and uh, take it your skills to an next level once you will complete this skill and i'm sure that if you are able to successfully answer 30 questions which i am showing over here you will feel a lot of confidence in you whenever it comes to analyzing the data or creating a model because i have shown you here all the things which initially you would do to start your data science journey even in the interview interview you will find most of the questions are coming like this so that um, once you are done with this case study you will be more comfortable in answering those questions all right so let's move on to the case study and see the questions in the case study and let's see the questions so the first question is extract the car maker from the name column which is the first name in the combined name so for example the very first row you will find a name like this Chevrolet Chevrolet Malibu so what you need to extract is basically the Chevrolet so this is more of a data engineering or data extraction sort of a work that from the existing column we are creating a new column by extracting the name of the manufacturer the second question is create the low mid high value for mpg column so mpg is the first column in the data set and the range you need to specify is that if from any minimum value to 17 should be low from 17 to 29 should be medium and anywhere value is from 29 to max then it is high so we are creating from this numerical column a category which indicates whether it is a low mpg car high mpg car or a mid mpg car so again we are creating a new column or a new feature from this 
check if there is any missing value in any of the column so you need to run a command which you can uh, by which you can identify any missing value and uh, if yes then remove it identify the data type of data set column so this is helpful uh, in scenarios like if any numerical column is uh, is like object or if anything which is uh, uh, you know character is misinterpreted into something else or a date column is misinterpreted into something else so one can evaluate this so you need to know how you can identify the data site data types of data set columns the next question is describe the entire data set and, and identify your observations from this so things like you have minimum maximum the first 25 percent value first 50 percent value mean value um, you have the count of the values so this will show you a lot of observations that how much there is a difference between a median and mode and uh, if it is a significant difference then you one need to really look into this and see whether median is a good metric or a mean is a good metric also you have count which indicates the count of all the columns by which you can observe if there is any missing value in this so earlier also if you see i have asked you to look at the missing value now this is a second way by which you you can identify the missing value now this question can come into your interview that uh, what are all the methods that you know by which you can identify the missing values well in that case you can answer with at least these two methods and having an understanding of this will give an idea to an interviewer that you are knowledgeable about this particular subject all right so next is what is the relationship between horsepower and mpg column which is miles per gallon so you need to create a relationship chart now you need to know as a data scientist what is a relationship chart really indicates and you need to create a chart over there now how is the relationship among various origins so on this chart itself you need to divide the chart by origin which is usa japan and europe after that how is the relationship when the mpg underscore level applied so mpg underscore level is nothing but this what is this when you apply the mpg underscore level on the various origins so you are digging very deeper into the data by applying these multiple columns on the relationship chart now plot a regression line for all the three relationship that means the three relationship is here for origin which is usa europe and japan so you need to plot a regression line for all the three relationship after that what is the overall histogram of mpg column so you need to identify where most of the values are and whether it is uh, near to the normal curve you know a little bit apart from normal curve, like right skewed or left skewed so what are your interpretations here then plot the horsepower histogram and how it is different from the previous one which is mpg distribution chart then plot the relationship chart for mpg and displacement and bifurcate it by again origin and cylinder and understand the differences so earlier we had bifurcated the chart only by origin but this time we are extending and we are saying that take an effect of the cylinders as well and see the differences next is create a line chart for the model year and mpg it should show the variation on each year as a vertical line so you have a line chart like goes like this or down there like this but on each data point you should have a variation which indicates on this particular model year what is a variation that you have seen into the data set so again a very insightful chart to to know where you have seen more variations when it comes to having the model introduced in a particular year now by forget the above chart again by origin so by now if you have already uh, figured it out uh, you will be expert into this uh, how origin values use cylinders in their respective regions so that means you need to create a chart of cylinders over origin values so that uh, you can see how what are the different uh, cylinders that the origin value use the next is create a correlation plot and an hint it's a pair plot for mpg horsepower weight acceleration and origin so for all these values 
you need to create a correlation plot which is all because all of these are numerical values it will show you each of the columns they are correlated with each other or not visualize the relationship between the mpg and horsepower along with the distribution on both side so relation chart along with the distribution on both the uh, above x axis that means opposite to x axis or opposite to y axis you should have the distribution so again this is a hint that uh, you need a plot which is from the seaborn library in the python create a regression line plot along with a normal regression line and experiment with polynomial regression so it should be straightforward you you need to first create a normal regression line and then experiment with the polynomial regression now we are digging little deeper into the predictive analytics next question is uh, do the same for mpg and weight so whatever you have done in the section in the uh, 18th point you need to do the same for 19th point and then finally mpg same for mpg and displacement so earlier we did uh, so we need to create created a, a regression line on mpg and horsepower then mpg and weight and then mpg and displacement so by now you will be very much aware and very much expert into the creation of this chart and applying the polynomial regression in case if that's the curve which chart follows now the next question the 21st question is import the sklearn regression model and add stats model api for the creation of multiple regression model divide the data set into train and test by holding the 30 percent of data set as test so this is very much uh, required when uh, you are doing creating a model that some of the data values you you hold it out for validating the model this is called model validation that on the unseen data how the model performs the next question create the model on the training set and for the all the selected parameters which have a p value less than 0.5 so once the data model is created we need to select all the parameters which is having a p value less than 0.05 and this will come from the stats model api in regression sql and linear regression you need to identify a manual way or you need to create uh, follow a manual way by which uh, you create a formula of p value and then you can identify so that's why along with the sql learn i have asked you to stats model api so that you can see it without much of a hassle since you are just beginning with us test the model on testing data and identify the rmse error metric which is root mean squared error for both sql learn linear model and stats model linear model now you need to let me know in the comments um, what are your thoughts when i said only rmse well there is an msc and uh, there is absolute uh, error metric so there are a couple of metrics so i would like to know your thoughts about uh, these different error metrics so that you can do some research and uh, comment it out uh, so that this this information will be you know pretty all the time there in your mind when choosing a metric make a prediction on the sample values where you have got the less rmse so sample values can be any value which you can uh, take it from the uh, data so for example you can uh, you can display some of the sample values from the data set which is uh, the cars data set or the mpg data set and uh, anywhere near value for example you can take cylinder s8 mpg s20 acceleration some values which you are seeing on the data set and just create a sample of values so that you can test it but in general in real life you will get a sample value from your business uh, which by on which you can predict it so this will help you uh help you bring closer to the real uh real life scenario print all the predicted value of x text x test value so whatever data set you have created whether it is x test or test x create predict those values and predict print it as well as print all the predicted values of x which is nothing but the train data set so if you do multiple if you have seen my previous video x is where we create tra x train x test and y train y test for the uh, training and testing data now uh, join the x value so whatever you have predicted for where x value is over here join the x value as predicted value in the original data frame and give it a column name mpg underscore predict another very near to the real life scenario where 
whatever we predict, we attach it along with on the original data set for our further analysis. Now display the first five values of the data frame and evaluate the original and predicted value. Similarly, display the last five values of data frame and evaluate original and predicted values. This will give you a lot of insight where your predictions are on the spot and where your predictions are far away. And finally, create a scatter chart and display all the original and predicted values. So I hope this these 30 questions will give you all the um, all the basic and uh, good knowledge about uh, doing a case study within a data science. So this will not only do this, but um, if you already know, it will going to test your skills into the data science that whether you can answer all of these questions or not. Now tooling is is not an issue. I will prefer Python because uh, that's where you know I do my most of the work or most of the people are going towards. But if you have any other tool and want to deviate a little bit from the uh, questions like I create I asked you to create a line chart along with the errors or the variation on that. So if you want to deviate a little bit, that's okay. But try to answer all these 30 questions with the help of the tools that uh, you have. And I will be very glad to see your output. So you let me know what um, what output you can create. And if possible, uh, create a Python file and attach it or, you know, send it. You upload it on the Google Drive or any other medium that you have and you send it to me. I will be very interested in seeing this or you can paste it in the comments so that everyone can see uh, your your output, maybe a GitHub link or something. So that's about it. And uh, I hope you will enjoy this case study or this uh, small data science project. And um, yeah, take your skill to a next level. Well, thank you so much for watching up until this now and I will meet you in the next video.